I don't have a real start for this, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but we're going to just go with it. It's week two, game two of the Dota 2 in-house league. Today, or today, this game, I'm not actually joined by Hector for once. I'm joined by my old good buddy and casting pal, as well as playing pal, Vagrants. A.K.A. Nick, but no one calls him Nick. He doesn't like Nick. He doesn't have Nick as his Skype name. He's just... He's like, what is, what is his real name? What is that? How are you doing, bro? I don't, I don't like my birth name, so I decided to change it. <laughs> I'm sure Chuck Norris wasn't born Chuck Norris. <laughs> I'm sure. I think his name's just Chuck, and his beard's name is just Norris. <laughs> his beard's name is Norris? It's actually like two people, yeah. He came out of the womb with a beard. He said, what's up? <laughs> it would be interesting, though. You got the Rasta and the Fury and Bad from the Radiant, and... The like in Dark Seer. Yeah, I think that Rasta ban is really like you and and uh, Hector and stuff. You guys ban Shadow Shaman when you don't want him, and it's kind of that time. it's yeah. it's that rule that you guys kind of set up. But no one plays him anymore. Well, you know what? It's gonna get like that, and then some. They're gonna start playing him again, mm -hmm. and well, we're gonna get off guard. It's Dota, bro. It's Dota. The meta game shifts all the time. <laughs> like heroes go in and heroes go. I mean, two weeks ago or a month ago, people played Tiny in every game. I, s I mean, in my opinion, um, well, Panda's number one now is the most powerful hero, and Ross is number two. I don't know about he that either. One, one notch. If I had to throw <laughs> out who's the most powerful hero. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Invoker too. Shit, that's Invoker, a so Darkseer, Panda. Windrunner, Chen, Tidehunter. That would definitely be my first top five, and Tidehunter is definitely the first pick, and Venomancer is the first counter pick, but Windrunner's banned, which is normally the, the Venno Windrunner combo. <laughs> hmm. I hope Hector loses. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> well, I'm sure he was like, oh, man, look at the stupid panda. He hates on me so bad. <laughs> it's whatever. He just hasn't seen my panda yet. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's seen your panda yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, last game was pretty sloppy, but I still performed very well. You did well. So. I won't take any credit away. You did well. I wonder but what I mean, the second pick is going to be. I can focus a lot more now, so Actually, I'll maybe I'll play next game. You know, when Runner is banned, we could see Lashrak. I really think he's a top oh, tier I love Lash, man. That guy's... I was, I was begging my team. Like, my bans were solid, right? I didn't use any extra time. But my pick time got all used because my team couldn't decide like what they wanted to play. I'm like, yo, please play Lash. Please, someone play Lash. Mm -hmm. I had to beg my team to play what they played. <laughs> Sand King. Now, you know how much yeah, I love Sand King. Fucking Sand King, man. That's why I ban him. He's too good. He is insanely good. He's no Tidehunter, but he is. he's up there. He's got a range stun that moves his unit to the end of it. Like, off cliffs, mm -hmm. go off the river... Yeah. On platforms. Tidehunter just has that, that versatility with the armor reduction of, what, two skills? Does, <laughs> doesn't his ult have armor reduction, too? Uh, I don't think so. I can check right now, though. AA and Vengeful Spirit are the second and third picks. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen an AA in a while. It's damage, uh, it's damage and stun. His gush is armor reduction and slow, and anchor smash is damage reduction. His anchor smash is OP. Is no. I want to see. Uh, yeah, I want to see Tidehunter mid this game. Yeah, I actually just mentioned that to him, um, in the last cast, and I think he might try it. He might. I love doing it, it, man. It's, it's so strong. So funny, cause like you get like a storm spirit or something. And it's just like, oh, oh, it's just a it's, just, it's a tide. It's a tide. And you slap him in the face with your anchor. He's like, oh no. It's Died. Oh no, it's half my health. Yeah. I wonder what the counter pick is going to be. It's very interesting to see an ancient apparition. At least it's very early to see him early in the draft. Like, there's. They have time. They have all the time in the world. And no one's going to pick or ban ancient apparition unless they want, like, a Huskar or, like. Maybe a Furion. Or a Chen. Um, in the chat, I see, can you control his illusion phantom things? Yes, you can control phantom dancer's illusions. Will he be able to turn a tide as a tide hunter? Probably not. But Lestrak is the third final pick for the first phase for the Dire. Just like I called, 
Love the Lishrak. Got to see it every game because it's either picked or banned. You got to do it. You got to do it. He's such a good hero. Shadow Demon, and then Anti Mage. Radiant team banned. Hmm. Hmm. Shadow Demon banned, so they they might know what they want, but I don't know what they want. And a Death Prophet ban. Dire team ban. Okay. So they're looking to shut down strong mids and pushes. I guess. Well, the Animage ban is just a really safe ban. We'll probably see... Um, well, Radiant needs a carry. A carry and a mid. So they'll probably go something like... Morphling or Ricky? And the last ban is a tiny. That was a mid. A really strong mid. Shadow Fiend. That solves both the problems in one. That's a mid and a carry. Very interesting pick. And Pudge is the counter pick. Oh boy. This game is going to get interesting. Will Pudge snowball or will he flop? And Queen of Pain is the final pick for the Radiant. I, I almost wanted to call the Queen of Pain. Oh, and a Broodmother last pick. Okay, this is going to be a weird game. Looks like we'll have, in terms of lanes for the Dire, we'll have Lashrak, Sand King, Venomancer all in a lane together. Try laning someplace. We'll have Pudge mid and Broodmother solo. But on the other hand, for the Radiant... We could have anything, really. Queen of Pain can solo long. She can solo mid. Shadow Fiend can solo mid. Solo sword. It's it's really, 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 really weird. Prepare for battle. Really weird. Yeah, I actually really don't know what to think about what they're going to do. But... It looks like we'll see them splitting up the lines. Man, here we go. Shadowfiend's gonna go. Typical mid. team versus typical team. <laughs> Which one's the typical team? Both of them. <laughs> okay, well then you explain to me the lanes of the, of the radiant, because I have no clue what's gonna go on here. I see vengeful and AA on bottom. top and Charlie on bottom. Okay, yeah, that, that's probably what's gonna go on here. That. Yeah, that'll probably be right. What are they doing with Queen of Pain? I'm pretty sure that's right because Vengeful has lane wards, so they're yeah. gonna be looking at try lane against. Well, Vengeful has wards Spider. on Spider. <laughs> oh, they got sentries on AA. Yeah, these guys are prepared. Mm -hmm. But the try lane top is uh, <laughs> the Queen of Pain. Better not show her face, or she'll die. Yeah, the Gale hits <laughs> and she's screwed. Not even Gale. They got Sand King. <laughs> yeah, well, the Sand King does have to get a little. Close. I mean, you can see him in blank. I bet they give the farm to Lesh, and you just hide him like you do Urshir. We're gonna see a gank bottom right here. Let's see yeah. how, uh, how well they're gonna do. They don't have the sentry down yet, so they don't even know. They're probably gonna wait until she last hits. Klopp's doing the right thing by creep blocking, body blocking the creeps. That are going. They're getting the range creep out there first. Started pretty early. No, she she started. Uh, can you see pings when I ping? Mm. No. She started in tier two. Yeah. Like I said, she's getting the, that range creep out there first, so it dies quick. So that's the, that's see. what pushes waves. It looks like they're already pinging for Brutal Mother. Yep, they're gonna go and he's got Gush Entry. first, so... Cold he feet, Gush. Oh, they needed Sun. to come with that. Oh, he still got it. Yep. Hey. And first blood to Vengeful. Easy peasy. So, farm goes to Tide. Yep. And a farm Tide is a happy Tide. Just like happy Oh cows. man, this guy's doing a dirty playing Shadow Fiend in mid. Mm -hmm. Such a dirty hero. Pudge is supposed to be his counter, but I don't believe it. No, I, I think, I think it really comes down to a skill matchup, honestly. That's just me. Yeah, this cop is a. Uh... Funny thing is. The lane is pushing really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not they're not pulling in the second game pulling. Yeah, not at all. 
I'm gonna come lay that counter ward again, <laughs> and then <laughs> they're gonna laugh at Brood. But if they're stacking and pulling, then they're doing the same thing. So you have the same thing going bottom and top. Yeah, really. Both lands are pushing. <laughs> You need to be you on top the, of that stack. Of, at least on the radiant side, the dire side can make a little sense because Lestrat can push down towers really easily. But your vengeful ancient apparition, you kind of should just stack and pull. Yeah. And AA is doing it right now. Oh, but he gets two of the same camp. The really, the setter camp. It's oh, I hate it for stacking. Why? Because you can only uh, pull once. If you get like two centaurs, you can pull twice. Or centaurs. You and can pull ones. them out. No, I'm saying, but you can only only pull the wave once. Like the wave, the, the satyrs will all die off. Mm. What the? I see, where I are the satyrs going? Saying. That's weird. They wanted to take a shower shot or, or a power <laughs> shot. Or the lane, the lane was blocked, so like the path. <laughs> so they're having like. Yeah, and game is paused. He Looks picked like now to go to the bathroom, mid. and they both have enough money for bottles. <sighs> yeah, Hector's losing mid. Pledges. Is he? Seventy gold or sixty gold ahead of him. He's yeah. He's uh, five last hits ahead and seven denies. Wow. Just look at the XP difference. One's level four. One's level three and a half. Denying man. <laughs> Let me see. Is a punch of a hatchet? No. <laughs> no. Seventy damage. Oh my gosh. The brood has a hatchet though. It doesn't matter. She can't go anywhere. There you go, Hector. Hector fighting back. He got two in his Necromastery. Uh, normally I go to one shot or raise. Eh, it's versus a Pudge, you're not gonna kill him. If you're, no, well, if you're able to take the Pudge, make him use all his region before his bottle, but in this case he's gonna get bottled. Oh, poor Broodmother. Actually able to get out there <laughs> in time, and they put the sentry lower. They don't have another one, so if the lane pushes, they'll be fine. Alright, so they must have heard me because another stack pulling on both Charlie's. Yeah, it looks like Sand King had gotten to a little scrap with uh, Queen of Pain and lost. <sighs> that was only a single a single stack, so they could be looking to push really hard, and they're going to. And they've got a, a Siege Creep. They can actually get this tower. Except the fact that Lestrat went 2 into Stun instead of 2 into Edict. And yes, Tarkal Coyote. Vagrants needs to answer the phone. Or put the phone on shut up. Smoked up, vengeful. Finding Pudge. Cold feet goes down after the stun. Uh, will it stun again? It does stun again. Ray's missing. But second kill of the game, going to Vengeful Spirit. Has both kills now and a thousand gold. What the hell is really going on? Let's see what's going to go on top lane. I want to see the Slashrat turn this into a push. But he's not going to, sadly. Oh, Sand King. Don't, don't do it, Sand King. It's a trap. It's a trap, Sand King. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you, your curiosity wants you to. Okay, there you go. Radiance Just sending on a ward. Like a good guy. And Rin is top in his. As he pings. He doesn't want this finish. will get it. <laughs> a little bit of blocking going on in mid lane. Oh, they're racing for it. And Sand King's going to be able to get it. Invisibility. It looks like top lane, their edict went up, trying to push the tower down a little bit. Taking a scream and a shadow strike doesn't help things, though. Actually, with an ultimate, if she gets it early, she could just kill him. Mid lane. Hook. On the vengeful. Got him. What's oh, going to happen? Oh, he's feet are, dead. Cold feet's going to hit, and he's that's a dead down. punch. Surprisingly, Sand King doesn't have any mana to do anything, so he's just kind of sitting around in mid lane. I don't know if Pudge actually saw Vengeful Spirit was going for someone else. And it was like, oh no. Yeah, Vengeful Spirit wasn't found early. Like, uh, he didn't get vision of the high ground, so. Oh, wow. Brood salved. And a random anchor smash knocking her out of the salve. Wow, and Tide's farming so well, he's got arcanes already. He is maxing Gush, though. Well, he's at, well, he, he's has points of Ravage! Wow. 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 That was a little unexpected. Too good. The power of Tide. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, screw Brownie. We want, we want Tide. Exactly. 
Clorox, all that stuff. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Looks like he's going to get a little push going. But Pudge and Sand King are deciding to duel mid since top will never die. It's a windrunner. If you're not going to hit the stun early, you're not going to hit the stun at all. I can't tell if I'm seeing things or if A is level 4 with 3 skills. It should show you how many times a person has statted, I think. Like, just plus one someplace. Illusion. And my cat is scratching himself playing a small song in the background. I apologize if you can hear that. Hmm, Broodmother's bugged. Had her injured animation. Mid lane is an illusion. So, nothing really going on. Probably all the plays will come from mid, honestly. Because Sand King is still here and still not getting any levels or farm or anything. And Pudge is afraid, but he doesn't know that they're rotating bottom and they're going to try to kill this Broodmother. And this Broodmother, do they have a sentry? They do. They have two sentries on Ancient Apparition. There goes one of them. Brood went down, though. Oh, and they place the other one a little too short, but Brood walks into it. Stun, cold feet, anchor. That's a dead Brood. Wow. Completely wiped out. And pings. Going out. Let's see, there's no sand is there. Pudge has a new auto attack sound. Interesting. Yeah, weird time for me to notice things. It's an invis sand king now. They they have a ward, so they pinged him. They know he's invis. Question is, will it set up anything? Top lane, boring. Honestly, nothing really gonna happen up here. Phase roots up. That's really it. And mana boots for Quinnipan, which is interesting, but it's not a horrible thing. Sand king could be looking to set this up really easily. One stun is all it takes. And there, there's the opportunity. Stun. Going up. Rot. Ultimate. From, from Pudge. And Sand King's tanking tower, and he could die for this. Oh, wow, the second raise. Oh, not being able to catch the third raise, but the tower will... No. Nope. Suicide. Great suicide from the Pudge. But getting the end of the Sand King, very well played. Excuse me as I hit my mic. Very, very well played. And, as I said before, all the action's probably going to come from the mid lane. Whoa, except top lane, the Shrak taking a ton of damage. Second blink, oh man, and there goes the rest of the damage. But she's already taken a lot of damage from the Edict, she's got to blink out, she's got to blink out, line of sight, line of sight, line of sight. Oh, Gale's going to kill her. And that's really unfortunate. Bottom lane, anchor. Going to do a ton of damage. By a ton of damage, I mean not so much damage. And while we're waiting, let's take a look at the chat. Anyone know whether there's a contest to win an account or something for Dota 2? We, as at Dota Live, give away keys. Most of our, oh my god, a Pudge hook. Getting Shadow Fiend under the tower. Shadow Fiend's gonna die. Pudge might return, die and return. He's got his rod on. There he goes, he's down. And they might pick up this Vengeful Spirit in return, but stun is up. Stun, stun, stun. And he's out of there. There's nothing that Ancient Apparition can do to stun him. Back to my point, though. Excuse me. Yes, um... I know that here, the Dota Live crew does give away keys during some of the cast. Oh boy, Ancient Apparition going down. As well as... Um... Yeah, there's there's the contest for Play Dota where you just sign up and count, and I believe you're supposed to post some play. Swap going mid. <sighs> Interesting raise. The Shrax then going out, causing Phenom Answer to get his ultimate off, but he's dead. Tidehunter has a haste and a 10 minute blink dagger. Or 11 minute blink dagger. Just insane farm. He's the best, most farm here in the game. 69 last hits. <laughs> 69. Oh, I'm so mature. And that 
that near doubles any hero in the game other than Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend at 39. And then Lucy on Queen of Pain at 30. And Lashrak and Broodmother at 30 and 34, respectively. That is insane. <laughs> Thank you, Charcoal. Try my best. What can I say? I am back. Ganking coming top. Ganking coming top, but nothing gonna happen because it's a it's it's a quick pain. Watch him get her. Watch him get her. Watch if he hits the her. hook. Oh, nope. moves out of the way for the hook. Oh. Oh. That would have been probably the best ah. hook I've ever seen. Oh, a a ultimate's gonna hit, and that's a dead. Ganking. Don't even get to finish my sentence. Oh, hook going on the shadow fiend with no mana, no ults. But he's just gonna chase him down with rock and get the kill. Easy peasy. That's what's up. And now ancient apparition is in his roaming around, but he can't really kill anything. It's ancient apparition. He's not really that great in a solo killing sort of environment. He's pinging for it. He wants someone to come kill him, but okay. Queen of Pain is here. Cold feet goes up. Oh god, Venomancer's walking the wrong way. Scream? No scream. No scream, but Cold Feet lands, and that's it. And, that's it. and four heroes top. They're definitely changing this into a push. And I just pointed out to the stream, but I want to point it out to you. Look at Tidehunter. He has an 11-minute Blink Dagger. With Arcanes. And he's going to be level 11 after this tower. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Why is it a format if no one's going to push the wave? Push the wave. They're gonna trade now. Trading mid. Whoa. Whoa. 12. No one's gonna get that denied. <laughs> Trading top for two towers. <laughs> oh, they get bottom get tower, tower as well? You little ass. No. They're not gonna get bottom tower. Looks like Pudge is gonna look for a kill though. You can get it too. In fact, I would have honestly already hooked that Vengeful Spirit. In fact, Hook can almost one shot her. And instead, he hooks nothing. Alright. And bottom tower. No, that was the sound from top tower. Excuse me. Top tower does go down though. Ancient Apparition ult. Moving bottom to slow down the push. Oh boy. TP's coming down bottom. That was a really low health tie, Hunter. But, Broodmother's gonna back off. After farming safely. She's got 1600 gold. Not amazing, but not bad. I just hope she doesn't go Vlad's, because then I'll have something to talk about. Because I really do not like Vlad's on Broodmother. For anybody out there, I have a really known hate among my friends for Vlad's on Broodmother. You have life stealing an ultimate on a local one. Oh! Hook not latching. Blink from Queen of Pain. Scream, or not Scream, what is this? Shadow Strike. Right. Bottom line, it looks like they're pushing for this tower. And they can get it really easily, honestly. If Rude Mother gets close, she's dead. Easily. Vengeful Spirit gets the last hit, because she hasn't lasted enough this game. She needs two towers as well as two kills. Hmm. I want to see some more action from this Pudge. I want to see, yeah, I want to see Pudge be manly Pudge. Shadow Fiend going for BKB right away. What a sissy. What a man. A very smart man. Stun, stun. Um... Rot. And he throws a random E. Or third, I guess. As he would call him double damage run. He's gonna want that. Hmm. What would you think that Shadow Fiend should get in this game? Specifically. I like the BKB, but you say you disagree with it. Divine. Divine. You heard it here first, guys. All the mines. Gotta just. Oh, oh no. what a hook! Wow. <laughs> Waited for a blink. Yeah, that oh, mental spirit is so team. dead. Slowed hook. Oh, the hook! Oh, double damage Shadow Fiend, but it doesn't have any way to catch up to the heroes that are there. The A.O. Oh, no. Punch TP's out. And Venomancer oh. stays. Oh, oh left it by himself? They, oh, shit, that's why. <laughs> Venomancer stays for some reason. I honestly don't know why he quite stayed. Or, or, honestly, don't quite know why he stayed. Excuse my English, I know I don't talk it much, but what can I say? I'm American. 
<laughs> Sound the big play alarm. Let me check out CS real quick. Uh, 60, 90, 40, 50, 59, 42. Nothing absolutely amazing, but 91 Fahrenheit Titus. At 15 minutes, it's really solid. Really, really solid. It's not amazing, but it's definitely really good. And it looks like they're looking for more... Th See, they heard you, man. They're stream sniping. They get, they're giving you more action. Sin King and Pudge are looking for kills in the bottom lane, but there is four heroes here. This is not the greatest idea. How... Oh, but the hook... Definitely going to get that kill really easily. Pudge and Sand King taking the ultimate. Broodmother walking in and walking out. Oh, Blink Ravage. Hitting the rest of the heroes on bottom. Anchor Smash almost killing the Sand King. Pudge is going to go down. They're going to chase the Sand King, and the Broodmother is just going to quietly hide and hope that Sand King's no one out. Is there. He's dead. Yeah, dead. Sand King is definitely dead. And oh. <laughs> there goes the combo of everything. Somehow he stunned Queen of Pain while she screamed while he died. That's interesting. And Broodmother, literally, I've been in this situation before, you just sit there pray. You're just like, oh man, I hope I hope they don't drop that sentry. Oh, I can see he has it. I hope he doesn't drop it. I hope he doesn't drop it. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they horrible. ping mid tower after all of this, too. You know what they could have done? <laughs> they could have smoked right there, right? Mm -hmm. And then started walking up all the uh, the spider webs along the lane. And once they popped out, pop the sentry and kill. Whoa, mid lane hook and Jesus, the hooks from this guy. He's not as aggressive as you'd like, but he is throwing hooks, man. I love Pudges, man. <laughs> so funny. Mhm. Mm One of my favorite heroes to watch, definitely. Opa Dendi. Oh, she can deny this tower. Don't let the tower die. Kill the wards and then deny the tower. Hook. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you bastard. Oh, she oh, blinks I, nowhere. I, this is oh, she oh, I, dodges I the hit. hook though. Oh, Still gonna unfortunately die. Edict's gonna be the last hit. On the dead budge. Oh, no. wow. wow. Poor blink. Poor, poor, poor blink. And <laughs> Broodmother's still on the bottom line. We're gonna get the A ult. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> See. He's not me, okay? I know, I know you can't play AA for crap, but that's my dude. Up really oh, swap mid lane. Oh, same thing. Going invis to break the stun from Vengeful Spirit, or break line of, or, or break fog for the stun, and then Venge walks into the heroes. Gale not going out. There goes the Gale, but it Wait, barely misses. The but the hook is gonna oh, get the kill. Shit. Was that homing or what? I saw that thing curve. No. After he threw it. Oh man. Trade, their kills going out now. The Shrak stunning the air. Ravage Ooh. going out. Ancient Apparition Alt is gonna kill Venomancer. Oh snap! Titan's gonna oh, go snap. down in strange though. Down. And that looks like it's everything. Brood jacking off at bottom. Crippled. Got an Oblivion Staff and yeah, a Soul Ring and Her animation is a little broken. She's got the injured animation when she's not injured. No, I mean under farmed. I mean, look at her leg. No. Look at her drag her leg. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little broken. There comes a counter push. Let's go. Yeah, they're Team gonna Venture. trade mid for tier two, probably. No. No, nope, they're just getting bottom. Shadowfiend Ray is picking up some free gold. I'm surprised he's doing so bad in terms of farm. Like, he was doing very well, and he bought his Ogre Club at like 10 minutes, and then he doesn't have gold in 10 more minutes. It's really unfortunate. Looks like they're gonna. Well, the fortifies up. I'm gonna use it. Did oh. they just fort? Oh, you're. Oh, I wanted to eat. You're being stupid. Bottom lane. Here we go. Bye, Vengeful Spirit. Oh no! Pudge looking for a that kill. King, that king's going after me. is right clicking Shadowfiend in the meantime. That king's going after me. Could have helped. Pudge uh, is just... dying. The Shrek is dying. <laughs> and this may be the messiest team fight of history. That's that's a blame on uh, Sand King. 
he chose the walk. Oh, so he, basically to another tower. He's happy centering. Oh, but the swap cancels it. I always wanted to do that. Gush, Shadow Strike, and it's second. Now he's gonna die before them. And Brood Mother's the only one left alive. Not doing anything. Rage Fiend is probably the one. Shadow Fiend that Sand King went for. Yeah. Brood Mother was right. Like, Sand King went after her, but that was probably literally the messiest gank I've ever seen. The heroes just went in every direction, and there was just no real consistency. And apparently Ancient Apparition either missed his ult badly, or I'm not seeing the animation. Either way, bottom tower is about to get pushed. He's got a siege creep. Gush oh, goes through. That could be a... no. Vinge didn't want to go in. They just want the tower. Give me your tower. I come in peace. Hook! Oh! Lefting the Tidehunter. Max range hook with Ravage. Always. Oh, scream! Scream! Wow. Oh, oh stun Broodmother. She's invis, but they know she's there. Two raises hitting, but third one not connecting. Sand King going for the Ancient Apparition. Wow. Shadow Fiend allowed to channel his ult fully, but missing two of his raises. And the third one guaranteeing the kill. Yo, um... Quap had Vino ult and Poisonous Gale. Mm -hmm. And, um... Juke the Pudge around some corner and TP'd out with 40 HP and lived because of regen of fountain. Wow. Very not fun. Should Scepter now. Yep. Haggies. Uh, speaking of Scepter, I'll say it live because I, I just... I have to say it and Vagrants disagrees with me, but Aghanim Scepter just looks so bad. Like the icon, the new icons, it's just so ugly. Like, what is it even supposed to be? Is it an Olympic torch or something? Or is that a gem? Or what is... It's fire. It's like mad... not fire, but magic. It's magical fire, you say? It's... no, it's magic. Oh, so, you, so, so that's Invoker like, standing like the... there. So they, why don't they just call it the statue of Invoker? Oh, smoke gank. And smoke wards. They have no idea. Well, it basically is. You get it on the book every time. And gush, cold feet, anchor, hook, missing. And that's a dead venom answer. Did not want to hold. That's dead, dead, dead venom. Now you can hold next to him. Poor guy. And apparently Dude. they think that's a real pudge. I'm stop bottom. Well, bro, if Almost you're a brood mother, you gotta commit, man. Almost done with that work. One laner, go home. Oh boy. Shadowfiend picking up a ton of free farm with his razors. He gotta micro those butterlings away from him, man. He's just gonna ult if this one tries anything. Yeah, definitely. She can't, she can't do anything. She has Orchid now. But I don't think she has the damage to kill a BKB Shadowfiend. Nope. And Pudge is trolling Ooh, he with his dust. Shadowfiend picked up dust. And the core, he is ready for this. What a manly man! Pudge pushing out the mid lane, gonna get a cloak. Or a hood. Cloak is. whatever. Swap. Going on the Pudge. And this is not gonna end up good for this ventral. Oh, the stun Except when the blink Ravage comes in, the anchor hitting. Ravage the Lash save. Gonna the pain and then pick up Lesh. Oh. AA is getting the double kill with his dot. Queen of Pain Lops and pick finds up Veno. Veno. Alt. Second scream in a few seconds. Cena that is a dead minute. Blink dead. Tower got Sand King from on top, got that Blink Dagger money. More kills going towards this dire team. They really don't need them. Interesting to see in the gold graph though. The gold spikes. This play... Okay, so the gold is much closer to about 4k. Actually, it's almost exactly 4k. About 50 gold short. But, it's very interesting to see that it dipped down. Uh oh, yeah. Shadow Fiend. Getting hit on by Broodmother and then there the Shadow go. Fiend ults. And there it is, right there. Like, Boom, the edge. Doesn't even believe she's dead, so he raises once. I think he should go Hell in the Dom. I think that's it. more for like a taunt. I think he should go Hell in the Dom. Thoughts? Uh, he could. 
I think he need, might need life steal. Or Manta. Manta would be really good. Oh, well, life steal really works for him. Because Pudge can just eat him and hold him in place while his BKB's on, so it's not a guaranteed. Yeah. Um, ult going off. Oh, secure ult. Which is what the BKB's designed to do. And. It's Pudge making. Life. Pudge is. Well, he's got a hood. Never guaranteed with the Pudge where you're going to Piper. Oh, Wind God. hook. Trying to be me. You gotta yell first. You gotta yell at the blind, blind hook. Uh, looks like Sand King has his blink dagger now. Tide has got a recipe for drums. Actually, he can get his drums if he can ever get the courier. Actually, he can get the courier, he just doesn't want it. Interesting. Uh, AA doesn't have anything. Potential probably well, I'm have playing anything. next game, for sure. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, no other major so items up anywhere. Up and I'll play again after. Decent supply of anti invis on this team. Mm -hmm. Dust and sentries everywhere. Looks like Tide is going pipe. And he just needs a little bit more gold, 800. But. Long range than I from Lash. <laughs> Come at me, bro, that's what he's saying. <laughs> Swap. <laughs> oh, Brood Mother. My Dusted. Brood. Whoa, huge rabbit hitting four heroes. H Whoa! Jesus! Wow, that is. <laughs> the scream is the whoa. Right after the AoE combo. Wave, dude, her just the AoE combo just completely melting the Dire team. Go next, being, being the call. Yeah, I, I would kind of call the GG, honestly, at this point. Hector says oh, it's not okay. over, but they are quite far behind in gold. Hector will tell it. Yeah, that's, that is quite a way. It's almost 20,000 gold. I won't say that the game is, I won't say it's over, over. They can come back. There's always a throw factor, but... Well, uh, <laughs> I yeah. think... Bruce should have just BKB. That's kind of big. Swap. Yeah. She's still a phone? There she is. Broodmother. Dead. All oh, magic damage. Been all oh. hitting one hero. Hook missing. Finally choking on some hooks. Just to prove me wrong. Sand King right clicking around. Double stunning. <laughs> and they're gonna back off. <gasps> she slap home. Might die. No. BKBs to get the urn charge off of him. Pudge is looking for another hero to kill, but he's slowed Look by the gush. Look at that Pudge! Oh, he can hear it. He can Hector hear is it. farming. This is not the best decision, but Hector moves the correct way. Going up. But Pudge goes for blind hook and misses just short. Broodmother calls a GG. Oh, but Pudge finds a Queen of Pain and kills the Queen of Pain. Oh! <laughs> and then Queen of Pain kills the Pudge. Interesting. Whoa! Hello, Sand King. Stun. Getting the kill. Oh, got him. Got him, Captain. What's up? Now the chase begin. Nope. No chase. Link away. Just in time. You got your recipe. <laughs> Alright, Tide's got pipe and. And drums. Pipe rest. Or, yeah, pipe and drums. Completely. It's got pipe and drums. I on. so needed a BKB. I think that instead of going Bloodstone, you got BKB. You would have been able to do a lot yeah. better than take fights. Ancient Apparition has mech done, Aghanims is done in Queen of Pain. Radiant Hell, Aghanims is almost done for Vengeful Spirit. She needs two more items. Which is huge out of Vengeful Spirit, like. We don't answer past Brazers. <laughs> really? <laughs> he needs more health, man. See, Broodmother has nothing. She really... I, I, I completely agree with you. She kind of needed to go BKB on this one. Uh, even even Shadow Fiend is physical damage... Or, magical damage. With his raises. DCs from the Broodmother and the Shrag. So, I'm pretty sure that's them calling GG. As soon as everybody leaves, it will be the official GG. But, they're probably going to stall around and argue with each other for a little bit. Because... Yeah, that's... I think they're, they're just going to try to pick up a few good kills real quick. 
Yeah. But uh, whoever's laying those wards down, just keep an eye oh, on where they're going. Where's the smoking going? Venal walks in, Venal walks down because he's dead. Time for you to go sit in the timeout corner. <laughs> that is all thought, that's good. But uh, HUD, ulting Queen of Pain, pain but yeah, Queen of Pain with deep oh. and scream. Dead. You hurt the ones you love. Yep. And it's it's 3v5, so they're just gonna take the Incoming ult! Again. Incoming ult! No! Ravage? Oh. There you go. He cancelled his Ravage animation as well. Very interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Dust and dead. And they're just gonna win the game. Well played, everybody. Yep. Queen of Pain actually has 14 kills. I did not know that she was the one securing the last hits. Yep, Nato. <laughs> Her spam ability is just way too high when she gets... Yeah, dying. But that's good, dude. Getting that bloodstone. All she needs now is bloodstone. Queen of Pain? Yeah, this guy went, yeah, went step there and nah, now he's making his bloodstone. Just Aghanims, bro. If you know how to play Queen well, of Pain yeah. and use your spells, all you need is Aghanims and just win the game. But, that's the end of this game. 33 minutes. Well played. Very entertaining game. Not like the first game. Hey, man. <laughs> Constant action. It's my fault. <laughs> I was like, this is boring, and then I started being Action Jackson. So.